how can we approach this and what's the strategy because as you be aware if you've watched my other videos we adopt a strategies approach we recommend that for teaching all of the number facts for all four operations and specifically for multiplication we've got the doubles we've got the double doubles we've got place value based strategies for the ten times and five times what do we do for sevens well the answer is there isn't really a neat strategy for them because the sevens are there are not any straightforward patterns in the sevens there are tricky ways you can do it but there aren't any nice straightforward ones so my approach would be to do something like this let's start with listing all the number facts that we need to know like so and I'm going to stop at 10 although obviously you could go to 12 depending on where you teach students may be only required to go to 10 or they may be asked to go to 12 but let's stop at 10 for the sake of this exercise and then look at which ones the students already know we could ask the students which ones do you find easy you know tell me ones that you already know the ones that you just straight off the top of your head you know what they are well seven zeros is nice and easy that's going to be zero uh, seven ones are seven seven twos are 14 seven tens are 70 so there's a few knocked off um, we know seven threes because that's a bit more than seven twos we add another seven seven fours we can get from seven twos by doubling again seven fives the five times are all easy they end in zero or five and there are ways to think about which one the answer is and seven nines we've got lots and lots of patterns we can use our fingers etc etc look at that we're only left with three so I would point out to students that these are probably the most difficult three and really we've done all the others before in fact we've done these before as well because if we've already done the sixes and the eights which I'd recommend that you do because they're a little bit easier than the sevens then there's really only seven times seven which is a square number so basically if we focus our attention on those three in particular again this is the sort of thing that you could put onto a poster for students um, just for them to look at and um, to remind them of what they've learned about this particular set of number facts these are the tricky ones these are the ones you should spend the most time on I remember telling students when we had um, number fact competitions regularly each week that if I wanted to trip them up if I wanted to give them the hardest number fact I could think of up to 10 times 10 that was 7 times 8 and so they all went home and learned that particular number fact which of course um, was a benefit to them